Hey guys, it's Steph and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, or rather tonight's video, because I'm gonna let you guys in on a little secret right now. It is currently 1.22 in the morning and I'm drinking coffee from my Dragon Ball Z cup because I go on holiday in two days time and I wanted to film this video before I go away. So, in today's video, as you can tell by the title, I'm gonna be trying out the brand new Soph Makeup Revolution palette. I also have one of her lipsticks, all of the other ones are sold out. This one is in the shade Fudge. I think it's the darkest one, maybe. Don't quote me on it. But I've had so many requests from you guys to test this out. If you guys don't know, I did test Soph's other palette with Makeup Revolution around about a year or so ago now, and that video went down so, so well. So thought I would do a similar kind of review. So last year, Soph came out with an eyeshadow palette, which is this one here. The Soph X Ultra Eyeshadow Palette looks like this. Really, really stunning palette, loved it, loved the colors. And she also came out with a highlighting palette as well, which I really, really liked. This time she's come out with this bad boy, the Extra Spice Palette, and I don't know where I put it, but that lipstick I showed you, she's come out with three different nude shades. Now I know I might get pulled up on it because yes, I do know Soph and I do love Soph, but I am still gonna be completely honest about my thoughts on this palette. If I don't like something, you guys will be the first to know. All right, that's enough talking. Steph, take a sip of your Dragon Ball Z coffee. Try not to spill it, and let's crack into this bad boy. So this palette, by the way, it costs 10 pounds, just like her other palette, and in her older palette, you get 24 shades, and this one you get 18. And let me see if it says the sizes. You get 0.8 grams times 18, so each little single shadow is 0.8 grams, and in the last one, it's 1.1 grams. Okay, so you do get quite a bit more product in the last palette, same price, but still a good price. Don't get me wrong, still a good price. I think the packaging of this palette is like the Revolution Pro packaging. <gasps> oh wow, that palette is very mirrored. Did not need to see my face that close at this time of the night. I'm gonna try not to blind you guys by holding this up, but like you can literally see everything right now. So that's what the palette looks like, stunning, and love the fact that they've kept it very, very similar to her last palette, just kind of like switched the colors over, which I can appreciate. Okay, the big reveal. I've only seen a few pictures of this online. I've tried to stay away from like spoilers and everything like that. Da, 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 da. Ooh, that yellow. That yellow has got me feeling some feelings. And oh, that pink. So as you can see, you've got a ton of super bright shades, but there are still some neutrals kind of dotted around, which I can appreciate because you know I love a neutral. Uh, we have one, two, three, four, five, six shimmers. And then it looks like all the other ones are mattes. So I'm just looking at the palettes next to each other and there do seem to be a few similar colors, like the darkest one in the bottom corner there. And also the greens, they are quite similar. The one in the older palette is a little bit more yellow toned. And then we've also got this brownie shade and this one here that do look a little bit similar, but they are kind of like classics that you would have in a palette. And then I guess you could argue that the shade Dreams up here is similar to this one down here. I'm actually just gonna do my first little swatch of them. Okay, pigmented. Oh, they do actually feel different. Okay, old swatch there, so that's from the older palette. And this is from the newer palette. Okay, they are actually they are actually a bit different. So that's those two colors there. A little bit different, but they are still like fairly similar. Other than that though, apart from like the kind of blacky blue, the dark brown and like the shimmery kind of champagne-y golden color, which I mean, let's face it, what palette doesn't have that these days? All the shades seem to be, yeah, fairly unique, cool. So what I think I'm gonna do is just go ahead and do a finger swatch of every single color just on the back of my arm just so you guys can see, because chances are, I'm not gonna be using every single color in this palette. I'm gonna try to use as many as I can, but I mean, there's 18 shades and I've only got two eyeballs, so. I'm just gonna go from left to right, so I'm gonna start off with the shade Every Day. I like that they've put the names actually underneath the shadows this time as well. It makes it a whole lot easier for me. Um, Running Late, Infinity, and Cheesecake. So, why are you gonna name so many eyeshadows after food? You're making a girl hungry here. So, that's the first shade. Ooh. Whoa, okay, that picks up like, that looks insane in the viewfinder. It, lo it looks insane in person, but like with the lights flashing on it, it's like bada bing, bada boom. Um, got the matte, which was, what do you call it? Running late. That looks like a nice little transition. This shade here, ooh, that's like a flat out silver. Oh my God, and again, that looks intense on camera. This one here, which was cheesecake. 
Then gonna take cookie dough and dreams, which is that other one we just swatched. Cookie dough. Ooh, that's a nice little crease shade. And then dreams. This little color combination here is kind of a vibe. You know, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna level with you guys here. I, when I first opened this palette, because the, the tones are quite similar, but obviously I know that the Extra Spice palette is kind of like a lead on from her previous palette. I was like, okay, like me personally, I would love to see a blue, but that's fine. She's not a blue kind of girl, that's fine. But I wasn't really like, ooh, I can't wait to try this palette like I was for this one, I think because obviously it is similar kind of tones. But now I'm looking at this, I'm like, actually, this really is a whole different palette. I'm just being honest with you guys. At first, I wasn't really gonna say too much. I was gonna try and kind of say it in a nice way. Um, but I was like, okay, apart from like a few pops, like, it's not that new. But like, but actually like looking at these colors here, I mean, I haven't even gone into the next two rows yet. I'm looking at this like, we didn't have that in the previous palette. So this really is like, okay, I'm, I'm excited about this now. Now that I've swatched them and I've seen the colors, I'm like, okay, now I get it. So then when we went to the second row, I'm gonna go in with vitamin C, sweet and sour, stop making me hungry, 21 and romance. And we'll just swatch them on the back of my hand, on the back of my arm. Okay, that yellow's not bad. Yellows are quite hard to do, so that's actually pretty good. Nice orange. I'm really excited for this one. Ooh, yeah, baby. It's like a raspberry kind of color. And then this one here, which was romance. See, now I'm getting to like the warm tones, like a little sunset eye vibe. Then gonna take Enchanted and then Lakes. Enchanted, nice. Lakes, nice. I'm just gonna start swatching on the inside of my arm just because I'm running out of space. So then we have brownies, chocolate orange, mulled wine, LA Sun. Ooh, LA Sun looks popping. So, what was that one called? Brownies, uh, chocolate orange. That one's nice. Uh, mulled wine, which also looks so nice. Yeah, love that. And then LA Sun. Zip. Ooh. And then we have Aurora and Reputation. Aurora and Reputation. Ooh, that is super black. Okay, so we've got the first row there, second row there, and then third row here. These are all like individually, they are like such a look. Like, put all those together, you've got some kind of like banging, smoky eye. Here you've got a cool toned kind of full eye. Here you've got like a super popping summery like sunset eye. Yeah, I'm now actually way more excited to use this palette now that I've swatched everything. Now I just have to decide what colors I'm gonna use. So as you can probably see, I've already got the majority of my makeup on. I have primed my lids with the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer, which I use often for as like an eye primer anyway. And I also went ahead and set my lids just with a little bit of Laura Mercier powder. Again, something that I use all the time. So now I'm gonna zoom you guys in a little bit. We're gonna get up close and personal and we're gonna try this bad boy out. I don't even know where to start in all honesty. I'm gonna try and do something different. So I'm gonna go in with vitamin C. Ooh. Picks up a lot on my brush. And you guys seem to really like my recent like cut crease halo eye. So I think I might do something else like that today. Put that in my crease. I'm not gonna blend it out too much just yet. You know what, for a yellow, that's actually really pigmented. Normally yellows can like wash out really easily. A Little bit of fallout on the palette, but that's not bothering me at all. I'm just gonna buff that outwards a little bit. So then I'm just gonna dust off my brush because I really, really like using this brush for like little halo eyes. I think I am actually gonna go straight in with this bad boy here. Just really focus it on like the tip of the brush. Again, very, very pigmented. And I'm gonna just fully pop that in the crease and just kind of bring it right around the world. You know what? That's actually blending into that yellow really, really easily. I'm still gonna add it like in between, I'm gonna add like probably sweet and sour in between in a second, but you probably wouldn't even need to. I'm just gonna do it because I wanna try out as many shadows as I can. Ooh, suddenly that looks, okay, I freaking love that color. 
at first it was like it was taking a second to build up, but now all of a sudden it's like boom. Oh, that looks so nice. Obviously it looks a little bit crazy right now, but I'm really into that color. So then same brush, I did just dust it off again. I'm gonna go in with sweet and sour, like I said. And just kind of put that in between the yellow and the pink, just to blend it out a little bit better. Dust my brush off again and go back in with vitamin C. Get like a bit more of like a little gradient going on. Just gonna quickly take a fluffy brush and just make sure that's all blended out. All right, pretty happy with that so far. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take a little flat brush and just take some concealer, just put it on the back of my hand there. And basically I'm just gonna pat that kind of into the inner corner and then keep looking at myself straight on. Cause I want it to look good when I put my eyes down, but I also want it to look good when I put my eyes up. All right, I think I went a little bit overboard with that cut crease then, but hopefully, hopefully we can sort it out in a minute. So then, now I don't know what to do. Yeah, now, now I'm, now I'm lost. I mean, I could like, okay. I'm like, I'm like thinking out loud here. I might put mulled wine and do a bit like a halo eye and put infinity or every day, one of the two, like right down the center. I'm just gonna take some of that. And I haven't powdered down my lid or anything because I've actually liked doing this recently. Ooh, look at that color. You know what, I'm actually gonna take a smaller brush. I'm just taking a Zoeva Detail Shader. Just a bit more like what I need. Oh yeah, that's way better. So I'm just patting the shade Mild Wine all onto the, just onto the outer corner. Okay, that I'll do for a second. We'll tidy that up in a minute. And then on the inner corner, the color's so freaking nice. Then I'm actually gonna take this little pencil brush and go in with the shade Enchanted just here. It's like the dark matte purple and just pop that on the outer corner a little bit, just to deepen that up a little tiny bit more. Tiniest little bit of fallout, but I mean, I am using like a lot of dark purple right now and it's only a little bit really. So then I'm gonna take that same brush that I used with that concealer and just pick up a little tiny bit, just to basically sketch out where I wanna put my like, highlight to shade in a second. So then I'm gonna dust off that same brush Go back in with mulled wine and basically just kind of keep on tapping until it like overlaps it a bit more. Might even add a little bit of infinity right in the center there. Oh yeah, that's way better, that's what we needed. That's what we freaking needed. Then using this little liner brush, I'm gonna take 21 again, which is like that super bright raspberry shade. And I'm just gonna very lightly go over the top of that little cut crease we did. You know what I think I might do is I might actually take some more of 21 and diffuse the outer part a little bit more because I feel like it's just looking a little bit, a little bit wild. So now because my eyes are looking a little bit crazy right now, I feel like I so badly need to smoke up my lower lash line because right now I can't understand what I'm doing. So I'm gonna go back in with 21 and pop that all on my lower lash line. See instantly now I'm like, okay, now I kind of know what I'm doing a little bit better. And then I'm gonna take a little bit of Enchanted mixed with mulled wine. And just kind of deepen that outer corner just so it matches up with this outer corner. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and buff the edges of that out. So that escalated quickly. I literally was not expecting to do anything anything this intense. The shadows have applied absolutely fine. I'm the one that's made a mistake here because I've literally been like going over the top and trying to figure out what I wanna do with this eye look. But now I guess since I know kind of what I'm doing with this eye, hopefully we should be able to make it look a whole lot better on this eye so that can be like the proper, proper judge. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and add some mascara. I'm just using Bad Girl Bang. Then I'm gonna go ahead and add some lashes. So I'm just gonna be using these, which I think are the Stephanie lashes um, from Doll Beauty. This is just like the little trio that you get from Beauty Bay. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pop that guy on. Pop you on my little friend. All right, you guys, so now I know some of you don't like it when I do this, but let's face it, this took me way too long to do. So now I'm just gonna go ahead, go off camera and do the other eye. And I'll let you guys know my final thoughts on the palette. All right, so as expected, like I said, this eye was kind of like a little practice round. The shadows applied way better on this eye because I wasn't having to like 
lay them on top of each other or anything like that. So yeah, shadows apply absolutely fine, just like every other kind of Revolution palette. So obviously I didn't use all the colors in the palette, but I think I used a lot of like the fun colors. Um, we've got these two shades here. We use the oranges, we use the pinks, the purples, we use like the black, the yellow. So yeah, overall, just as expected, the palette is fab, so good job again on that so. So then obviously we have the lipsticks as well, so like I said, I have the shade Fudge. So what I'm gonna do, I don't know how similar this is gonna be, but I'm gonna be using the shade Prime um, in the Renaissance lip liners from Revolution. I've tried these liners before and they're really, really nice. So I think I tried this color though. Well, that actually could be a pretty good match. Okay, it's like I actually know what I'm doing. I'm just gonna quickly line my lips. So then we're gonna go in with Fudge. So this is what the packaging looks like. Really, really cute. It's got Sofsil signature there. Okay, yeah, this is super dark. And I just dropped the lid on the floor. Whoops, aw. It's got Soph's name engraved on the side. That's so cute. You know you made it when you got your bloody name engraved on a lipstick. So let's just swatch that. Ooh. They are very creamy. I don't know why I was expecting this to be a matte, but it's not. It is more of like a cream finish. But that doesn't make any difference to me at all. So let's go ahead and apply this. That's actually a pretty banging match to the um, lip liner that I used. Very, very pigmented as well. I barely needed any of that. It's a lot darker than what I'd normally go for. You guys know I love a light nude lipstick, but that actually works really well. And I mean, the product, the quality and everything like that, spot on, absolutely fine, just like, the other Revolution lipsticks, really, really nice formula, really creamy, really pigmented. You know what, I actually quite like that color with this eye look. And normally I pair like anything like this with a super pale nude lip, but I'm actually kind of digging that. That's actually a nice color and it's not something I would normally wear. So good job, Soph, you've got to be out my comfort zone. So you guys, this is the finished look and it's safe to say, I did not expect to end up looking this dramatic. I thought I was just gonna do a nude lip and like, a warm toned smoky eye, but here we are. As always, if you guys enjoyed this video, please do give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you don't see more of me because I upload all the damn time. It's now three in the morning. I'm gonna go get some sleep and I will see you in the next one. Bye.